What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Mixtape Moth. If you are rocking with this content, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. But today, I'm going to hit y'all with my thoughts on this new Conway the Machine and Jay Ski's project entitled Pain Provided Profit. This is a new seven track EP from the Griselda member who is the silliest with the bars. Conway the Machine and Buffalo rapper Jay Skies, who is signed to Conway's drum work music group. It's drum work, bitch. Now, we have been watching Conway the Machine get inside his CEO bag and assemble a, a crew of MCs for this drum work label since about 2021. Two of the artists signed to this label, Love the Genius and Jay Skies, have had several features with Conway over the last few years, but it looks like finally in 2023, we will be hearing a lot more from this Drumworks camp. So on this project, Conway and Jay Skies are actually approaching it like they are a real duo with the trading of bars and the ill back and forth, flexing their chemistry. It's just seven tracks lasting approximately 24 minutes. We have production from Grey Matter, uh, Real Six, Zulu, and Ill Tones. The bulk of the beats is provided by Grey Matter, however. But with that being said, let me go ahead and just hit y'all with this track by track breakdown. The opener, Cocaine Paste, has this dark and unsettling synthesizer. It's a spooky backdrop that sets the tone right out the gate. The two are giving us a lot of sneaker head talk. Uh, so if you are in the shoes, uh, or if you consider yourself to be a sneaker head, then you should definitely like some of the sneaker mentions here. J Ski's raps, I'm tiptoeing through my cousin's vintage like a gymnast. They keep me fresh to death just like an effing life sentence. So as I said before, if you are into getting fly and copping kicks, then you should appreciate this track. Track two, Metallic Fives, has this raw, dirty, and murky beat. The drums are hard as nails, and I'd say it's the most Griselda-sounding instrumental on the tape. Conway states, scientists can't calculate my impact. No measurements exist. I had a Hall of Fame career. I'm setting records in this bitch. Man, love that scientist line. And Jay Skies goes in on his verse with the precision of a marksman. He raps, rappers talk imported drugs. Those be exported lies. Statements, they be falsified. But anything I speak on wax, I stand on it. You know my shit is fortified. So as a whole, it's a raw Boom bap track with hard hitting bars. The following, Stefan Diggs 2, has a laid back and jazzier instrumental. It's a smooth backdrop for sure. And what impressed me the most were the flows that the machine and skis were using. Jay Skis used the double time flow, just ripping this beat to shreds. And Conway confidently strung his bars together with more of a nonchalant delivery. But I also really liked. Uh, the motivational quality to this record. It's laid back, uh, but an anthem low key. Conway's whole verse is really stand out to me. My story is the motivation. I was fighting open cases, now I'm doing shows and getting bags way out in Copenhagen. They give me my roses when I go on stages and they barely spoke the language, but they still quote the statements and all that shit I wrote in pages. Bro, you hating, but you never drove a spaceship. I come from the hood just like you. I wasn't supposed to make it. Just the way he penned those lines was super ill. Uh, the bro you hating, you never drove a spaceship line was hard. And Jay Skies also came through with the wise jewel. To appreciate the beauty of the summer yearly, yes, you gotta see the winter. And that's real talk. Track four, Le Chop, contains a mystical beat and a sung hook from Jay Skies. We are getting more back and forth action, almost as if Conway and Jay Skies were uh, Smith and Wesson, or let's say Smooth Hustler and Trigger the Gamble. Conway raps, hip hop is my house and I put locks on the effing gates. I heard life was a gamble every day you up the stakes. Then Jay Skies has some really motivational bars with stay resilient, can't be letting battles defeat you. Out of situations that left you sicker than the man with the measles. It's lessons in everything, long as you letting them teach you. Track five, Immaculate Reception, has this crisp guitar back beat that's 
a little somber. Uh, it's essentially a Jay Ski solo with Conway doing some boastful CEO talk at the end. Uh, and Jay Ski cleverly states, I gave an F at one point, but now I'm honestly abstinent. So overall, the flow, the bars, the production, it was all on point. The second to last track is Promise, which has this strange but cheerful beat that it's almost otherworldly. And I gotta admit, upon a first listen, I wasn't feeling the instrumental, but somehow it grew to be one of the standouts. This one is another inspirational anthem about the grind and persevering. We also get a sung hook from Jay Skis, this Pretty damn smooth, giving off somewhat of a 50 cent vibe. Conway talks about keeping it G until they slam their gavel, while Jay Skis raps about how his life changed to where if he hits a fan, that means she's really starstruck. So I thought that was witty. Then the project wraps up with food, and it's a posse cut featuring what might be all the members of drum work. Um, Love the Genius, Jay Skis, Goose, Conway, and SK the King. Love the Genius opens this up with a dope verse. She has some thoughtful lines with, you black, you playing victim, so they still make the story up. My boy, he only 20, picked the 30 and the 40 up. They trying to give him 70, but he don't give a fuck. Conway's verse jumped out at me also. I like the faster flow he used and the alien bars. I finished this verse while falling from the sky and visiting Earth. And SK the King's verse was cool. I liked his lines. Never been to Mexico, but I can show you where war is. Seen five figures as a little kid, but never made the Forbes list. Keep a pistol on the side like cornbread. Yeah, this is my first time hearing SK the King, but... I kind of like what he did here. Yeah, all together, solid posse cut that flaunts the talent uh, on the label at the moment. So overall, I give this project a rating of a strong three and a half to four mics. I think both Conway and Jay Skeezer's voices complement each other pretty well, and they make for a good duo. Uh, it's another bar-heavy project, in a vein similar to the recent Shane Noor and Rome Streets albums. Now, to keep it a buck, Jay Skies is an artist who has grown on me over time, as initially I didn't feel he had the most distinct rapping voices, uh, but I realized that he is a beast with the bars and he brings that hungry energy to tracks. With respect to the production, I thought it was solid throughout, uh, simple but effective beats that Got the job done. For some reason, I did feel Conway toned it down a bit, uh, perhaps maybe to uh, shift the focus a little more on Jay Skis to make him the star of the show, but I could be wrong. At the end of the day, it's a dope collaborative EP that preps us not only for Conway's upcoming solo project, but also for the drum work album that is in the works. Yeah, you can't help but be inspired by Conway's drive and focus at the moment as he's balancing record CEO duties with actual rapping. My favorite tracks include Cocaine Pace, Stefan Diggs 2, Lay Chop, and Promise. Let me know what you thought about this EP in the comment section. It's your boy Mixtape Muff. I'm signing out, but be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. As always, it's peace and blessings. Call me the machine. Jay Skis, pain provided profit one.